with an operating time of 30 hours, a combat range of 250 kilometers, a service ceiling of about 9,000 meters. This UAV is really an important addition to the air forces of Southeast Asian countries. A few months after Malaysia placed an order for NCAD drones from Turkey, Indonesia also reached an agreement with the Turkish Aerospace Industries to add modern drones to its military. On August 1st, Indonesia's Ministry of Defense announced that it had signed an agreement with Turkey to purchase 12 advanced unmanned aerial vehicles worth $300 million, marking another step in efforts to modernize military equipment. The agreement with the Ankara-based Turkish Aerospace Industries was concluded in February with the delivery of the drones slated for completion within a span of 32 months from the signing. Although the official statement on specific drone models remain secret, media sources have quoted Thai General Manager Tamir Kotir as confirming that the deal will include ANCA unmanned aerial vehicle. This year, Indonesia's Defense Ministry has been granted the largest oil location from the country's total budget, totaling 134.3 trillion rupees, equivalent to $8.89 billion. This is an action that concretizes the country's commitment to strengthening its military capabilities. In January 2023, Indonesian Defense Minister Probovo Subianto successfully signed an agreement worth $800 million to purchase 12 second-hand Mirage 2005 fighter jets from Quata. In February 2022, Indonesia also purchased 42 Rafale fighters worth $8.1 billion. The Indonesian variant is said to be the NKS which is a mass-produced variant offered for our export market. Aside from being used as an unmanned combat area vehicle, the NK UCAV can be used for surveillance and can be equipped with radars and cameras. NK UAV is one of the most modern products developed by the Turkish aerospace industry, which currently being evaluated to become the standard UAV of the Turkish Air Force, working with the air and ground units to form a modernized, effective combat force. In terms of design, NK is quite similar to popular Western UAVs, characterized by a tubular fuselage containing a Vunix, fuel, and engines. The turbocharged engine is fitted aft and powers a three-bladed propeller in a pusher configuration. A pair of outward canted vertical tail fins are situated to either side of the engine housing. The main wing assemblies are fitted at the midships and are high mounted onto the top of the fuselage by NKS is a serial production configuration of NK. It is equipped with a SETCOM antenna and a national flight control computer. On August 17, 2018, Directorate of Defense Industry announced that the NKS completed its first live fire test. The platform was tested with MAMR ammunition developed by Rokesan. According to the information given by Thai, the NKS UAV is equipped with an ACRS Common Aperture Targeting System, FLIR system, and a domestically produced flight control computer. NK drones, which can detect targets and perform laser marking thanks to the CATS electro optical reconnaissance, surveillance, and targeting system, 
can carry four rocket and MAML laser guided munitions. 